Hello guys, uh, today in this video, we are going to discuss about time dependent diffusion equations. So if you remember uh, that we have uh, already discussed the current density for whole, okay, which can be written as uh, E mu P and then P concentration of whole and uh, the applied electric field. So this is um, the drift current density for holes. Okay, minus E dP diffusion coefficient for holes and then del P by del X. Okay, so this was the current density for uh, holes we wrote. And similarly, current density for electron, if you write, there will be two terms, one term that will be the drift current density for um, the electrons or due to the electrons. So, which is given by E mu N mobility of electron and concentration of electron is the applied electric field capital E, okay, plus the diffusion current density is given by E, electronic charge, dN diffusion coefficient for electron and del N by del X, the variation of concentration with respect to the distance of, okay, so del N by del X. So now here we can write the current density, if you suppose, if you write um, the flux for holes or whole flux, this can be written as JP, okay, um, divided by E. So JP is what? The current density for holes divided by uh, the charge of the electron. That will give you what? Number of holes passing per unit area, right? Number of holes uh, per unit area. So here you can see JP actually gives you what? JP is the current density. Current density gives you what? The number of holes multiplied with uh, the charge of one hole divided by the area. So here you took that and divided by E will give you number of holes crossing that area, right? Per unit area. So which we can write, now just divide uh, this E. So write the rest. So we got mu P concentration of hole applied electric field minus DP, okay? And del P by del X. Okay, so this is what we got. Similarly, if you want to write uh, the electron flux, okay, that is number of electrons per unit area, the same way we can write the current density of electron divided by the charge of the electron, right? So we can rewrite it mu n, so shown in the values, mu n concentration of electron E and then minus dn del n by del x. Okay, so just dividing by E here, okay, minus E here and dividing by E, uh, this JP. Okay, so we got this. Now, th these two equations are actually known as the time dependent diffusion equation. Okay, time dependent diffusion equation. Now, uh, we have already derived del P by del T, that is the variation of whole concentration with respect to time can be written as from the continuity equation, if you remember that we did, can be written as minus del FP by del X plus the rate of generation GP, the rate of generation of holes as the concentration will increase. So you have a plus sign here, minus rate of recombination that is P divided by tau PT the excess manner carried in lifetime. So it is a recombination means the concentration will decrease. So there is a negative sign you can see, right? Now let us substitute the value of FP over here that we got. So we can uh, rewrite it. Like if I'll substitute the value mu P, P minus DP del P by del X over here, then what I will, I will get for the first term that is minus del FP by del X, okay? That is minus del by del X of this whole thing, this whole thing that we got. So if I'll substitute it, we can write it as mu P, okay? Del by del X of this P, the term, okay? Plus DP, and this is del square P by del X square, okay? So this term we got, and then the rest, whatever, GP, the rate of generation, minus the rate of recombination, tau PT, okay? So this is what we got. Similarly, if you want to write del N by del T, del N by del T, that is variation of electron concentration with respect to time, the same way, you can substitute the value of FN, right? And we can rewrite it. So simply, if I write del N by del T, and uh, we'll substitute it, 
so we we can rewrite it directly i'm writing mu n del by del x of n e okay plus d n del square n by del x square plus g n minus n by tau n t okay so this way just uh, now you know in terms of you know order if you just uh, rewrite it then we can again uh, i mean just rewriting it uh, to simplify it further we can write for the holes tp del square p by del x square minus mu p taking common in those terms where it is present del p by del x plus p del e by del x and then you have gp is also common sorry i'm so sorry so here uh, this is over and then you have the rate of generation as a individual term minus p by tau put right this is equal to del p by del t so i just uh, wrote in in for second order you can see second order partial differentiation then the first order differentiations then uh, zero the order or there is no derivative term so this way i just uh, you know uh, re uh, rewrite del square n by del x square plus mu n the same way e del n by del x plus n del e by del x okay plus g n the rate of generation minus n by tau n t excess man career lifetime okay that is equal to del n by del t okay so these two equations that we got okay so these two equations actually gives you what the variation of concentration of hole with respect to time and how it is related to the variation of hole concentration with respect to x you can see that del square p by del x square term you got and then you have the diffusion coefficient term you have the mobility term and then you got this del p by del x so here the variation of concentration and also if the electric you know if uh, there is a you know um, concentration gradient like you know the variation in concentration with respect to length then induced electric field will also be there that we have already discussed in one of the um, videos so del e by del x will be there in addition to this gp rate of generation will be there rate of recombination will be there so all the you know factors uh, were considered here which 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 will you know combining um, these all these factors will give you what the rate of variation of um, hole concentration with respect to time the same for here uh, for electron variation of electron with respect to time we got so these two equations are known as the time dependent diffusion equations diffusion equations okay so time dependent diffusion equations for electrons and holes okay 